Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great fantastic day. Now, tomorrow is officially the 1st of December and I thought to myself, what would be a really good idea to get into that festive season? Unboxing a makeup advent calendar of course and I have chosen the Pro Fusion Wish Upon a Star advent calendar. I haven't even unboxed a Pro Fusion advent calendar before so I thought this advent calendar would be brilliant to unbox and show you guys because the packaging for stars is really 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 pretty so I was super excited to get this advent calendar. I am going to be trying on the makeup from this calendar in the second video so stay tuned for that but in this video I'm going to show you what's behind every single door and let you guys know my honest thoughts about this Pro Fusion Christmas makeup advent calendar. So if you guys are going to enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. So if you guys want to know my thoughts about the, whoops, upside down, the Pro Fusion Wish Upon a Star Advent Calendar and showing you guys what's inside this calendar, just keep watching. So this Advent Calendar retailed at the time when I bought it was £30 on the Boots website. That price might have dropped by now or it could be in a sale. If it is, I will put the new price on screen. But at the time, I did pay £30 for this. So this is what the packaging looks like. I'll just show you everything from the front. On the back of it, it's pretty much got what's inside the advent calendar, so I don't want to flip it over to spoil it. But the packaging is really, really pretty. I love the purple colour. It's got stars on it. I think they say they're more like a bronzy kind of coloured stars. But it is really pretty and very, very reflective. But I really like the shape of it. It's very unique. It's very different. And yeah, I, I really, really like the packaging. And it feels quite robust as well. It doesn't feel like it's flimsy or anything. So I'm just gonna open it and show you the inside. I'm hoping you guys can see, but this is what the inside looks like. So you have the same uh, purple uh, starry pattern like it is on the front. And you have all the doors right here. Well, there's two more doors there. So I'm trying to get all of this in frame. <laughs> but these are all the doors. So they have all different shapes and sizes. So I like the different arrangement of doors. They are a light lavender purple colored door. So this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna bring it closer so you can see. So this is what the inside looks like. So let's get straight into the doors. Okay, so door number one is up here. So it's this triangle shaped door. So door number one is this little brush. You probably could use this brush for like contour or any or something. It doesn't feel cheap or anything. It doesn't feel like the bristles are gonna come off. I kind of wish it was a full brush instead of this very small little brush. But yeah, like I said, very ideal for nose contour or contouring. So this one was day number one. Quick note as well, I like the fact that inside all the slots are holded in by cardboard, not plastic, so this is completely recyclable and really good for the environment. So I like the fact that the whole packaging is completely cardboard. There is no plastic in this at all. Okay, let's get into day number two, which is right here. And it's this beautiful highlighter right here. It's a bronzy kind of highlighter. Now I would keep this and use this as a bronzer because I love shimmery bronzers, but since I've already got quite a few shimmery bronzers, I think I'm gonna pass this on to someone else who I know is going to love this. So I'm gonna pass this along. Right, day number three is right up here. And in day number three, we have this beautiful blusher. Really, really nice. It says that this is a matte blusher. This don't look matte. <laughs> it does not look matte at all. It does look like it's got a bit of a shine in it. Yeah, it looks like a bit of a rose gold. Doesn't matter, still very pretty. Very happy with that. Okay, day number four is right here. Don't know what you guys are gonna see, but it's a beautiful lip topper. It's got so many different colors in it. It's got a shift of like different colors. Yeah, this is really pretty. It's got like a bit of red in there, gold in there. 
yeah, really, really pretty. So I hope you guys will be able to see this okay. <laughs> okay. Um, door number five is right here. And it's a matte lip liner. Really nice colour. It's like a it's like a pinky brown colour. So a really nice nude. It looks really, really nice. So it's not too light, but it's not too dark. It's sort of like in the middle. So this is a really, really nice lip pencil. Okay, day number six is up here, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, this is itty bitty tiny. Oh my gosh, this is a glitter adhesive. This is so cute. Oh my god, it's so tiny. Like, I just get, I just go all funny with cute things. I just, oh, it's so cute. I love the fact though it's in door number six, but yet it's so small, but it's so big at the door. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Okay, day number seven is right here. Okay, so. In door number seven, we get a nice eyeliner pen. Okay, guys, as I went to pull the lid off, the pen kind of flew off. Oh, my goodness. Um, hopefully, I'm able to, like, fix this. This is what the pen looks like. So, it's a felt tip pen. It might have been my fault. It's probably the way I took it off or something. But I didn't expect it just to ping off and fly off. So... Yeah, I'm hoping the pen's still okay because it looks really good. So I don't know if the packaging was faulty or it could have been my fault. So I don't know. Let me just see if I can just take it off naturally. Yeah, I think it was me, guys. I think it was me that did the accident. So yeah, don't worry. Hopefully the pen is still going to be okay. It survived. It survived. Okay, door number eight, guys, is right down here. So we have a nice lipstick here. I'll just take it off and show you guys the colour. So that's the colour there. So that's a really nice sort of a nude colour. Sorry I'm not swatching them. I just want to save it for the next video, but I'm happy to show you the colours, of course. But yeah, that's a really nice nude colour, so I'm looking forward to using that with the lip liner. Okay, guys, door number nine is right here. So I got the Profusion Glow Drops in Champagne. This looks really pretty. Now, I'm not particularly keen on liquid highlighters. They just don't seem to work for me. So, but I'm more than happy to give it a go. And not to mention, it's a really nice small size as well because I don't have any liquid highlighters. So this is actually the perfect size for me because I won't use this a lot. So yeah, really good size for me. I think it's perfect. All right, so door number 10, guys, is right down here. And in this door, we got a nail polish. Looks like a very nice light pinky colour. Nice everyday wearing nail polish. So we got this one. Right, door number 11 is right down here. And we got these really pretty fun little stars here. Fun, fun to stick on the face. Now, I remember Soph, Soph Louise saying that the stopper is really hard to get off. So I'm going to see if I can try and get it off. No, I did it, guys. I actually got the stopper off. Oh, yay. I mean, the packaging is designed wrong because you can't get the glitters out. You have to take the stopper off. But I was able to take the stopper off. It wasn't easy, though. So, yeah, I'm just going to squeeze it back on, but I'm not going to put it on too tight so I can open it again. But, yeah, fun little stars there. Right, door number 12, guys, is right down here. Oh, cute. We've got this really nice hair band to put on your head when you're doing your makeup or skincare. I like the little bow so this is really really cute and it's really soft as well. Yep very handy very cute I like it. Oh and it's nice and stretchable too so I like this. Door number 13 is right here. Okay so we have a sparkling eyeliner. This looks really pretty. Very festive can't go on with a bit of glitter so very nice. Okay door number 14 is this massive one right up here. Such a massive door, and we got this, which is one of these makeup remover um, magic pads. I'm not too sure what to call them, but they're one of those pads where you put it with water and you rub it on your face and it gets rid of the makeup. I've got so many makeup removing uh, cloths for that, but it's very handy to have to remove your makeup. I mean, you don't have to use this with makeup. You can use a nice makeup cleanser with this as well and really buff this on the face. So yeah. Very nice and very handy. It's a small circle and it comes in a massive uh, compartment. <laughs> so, but very handy, very, very practical to have. Very practical. Okay, door number 15, guys, is right down here. It's another itty bitty tiny item and this is the Pro Fusion eyeshadow base. So you put this on before your eyeshadow. So this will be handy to use. Yeah. Okay, door number 16 is right there. 
We have a nice pair of lashes right here. Very, very nice. They're really, really nice actually. They look quite volumizing, so excited to try these. Door number 17 is here. It's a nice angled brush here. Very ideal for carving out your eyebrows or doing a smoky wing. Door number 18 is right up here. It's just a rose gold pair of eyebrow tweezers. Well, I'd say it actually, sorry, it's more bronze. So yeah, these are handy if you want to curl your lashes. Okay, door number 19 is right up here. The Profusion Lip Tint. Juicy Lip Tint, sorry. So it's just pretty much like a nice tinted like lip gloss. So yeah, really nice. Okay, door number 20 is right here. Oh, we have a beauty sponge. I love getting beauty sponges in the advent calendars. Feels nice and squishy. Well, I feel even more squishy when I've dampened it, but I love the pattern on it as well. Really like getting these. These are so handy to have. Some people don't like getting them in advent calendars, but I find them so handy because beauty sponges, they get dirty and you throw them away. They're not cheap. It's not like a makeup brush where you can keep it and reuse it again and again and again. You know, once the sponge tears and it goes too manky, you know, you have to throw it away. So having beauty sponges, really handy. Really, really handy. So door number 21 is right here. I couldn't remember which door I was on. And it looks like it's trying to escape. We have a moisturising sheet mask. Oh, very nice. Nice and pampering. Definitely go nice with the hairband. So very, very nice. Right. Door number 22. It's another sparkling lip topper, but this is a pinky one, like an icy pink one. So this one, it kind of looks like it's got like pink, but like blue shift in it. So very, very pretty. Door number 23, guys, is right here. And we have glitter, but of course it has to be done. It's that festive season. So it's a really nice greeny gold glitter. And the shifter works perfectly for this because this is loose, like small glitter. So this shifter will definitely work for that. So yeah, very pretty, very festive. Okay, we're on day number 24, Christmas Eve. And we have a very nice palette, which is called Wish Upon a Star. Very, very nice. You have three mattes and three shimmers really nice look like a nice you can make it daytime or smoke it out with this color so very nice very nice and lastly day number 25 christmas day and we ended it with another brush but this was like a nice fluffy blending brush so you can really blend your crease colors with it or pack on glitter with it or so yeah we've ended on this brush okay guys so that is everything in the profusion wish upon a star advent calendar so what's my honest thoughts about it so the pros and the cons so the pro the price point is pretty good i think 30 pounds i think is a really good price hopefully now it'll be in the sale so it'll be even cheaper so i think it is an absolute bargain i think especially if you're starting off with makeup i think this is really good i think the con is I just wish they probably put a eyelash glue uh, for the eyelashes and maybe like a highlighting palette because sadly this highlighter is just too dark for me. So I wish they had like a highlighting quad so that way it can vary out with all different skin tones perhaps. And yeah, and maybe put a bronzer in there as well because there's no bronzer in the calendar. So even if they just had like a palette or something of bronzer, highlighter, blush, like had it as a quad, then they could have used more doors for different things, put in more different things in there, maybe put a little bit more skincare in it, maybe a primer in there or something, or something for the brows perhaps, or even a mascara, we haven't had a mascara, so maybe we could have something like that perhaps. Yeah, so I just wish they kind of included more bronzers, more highlighters in the actual set. Um, just looking at everything next to me. I think that's all I pretty much would say really. I just wish they'd include that so that way everyone can use it. Um, I can get away with the blush and the eyeshadows are okay and everything else is, but sadly I can't use the highlighter. Um, I Like I said, I can use it as a bronzer, but I'm passing it on to someone else. But apart from that, I think this is a really good advent calendar. If you're starting out on makeup, I think it's great. I think it's a really good bargain. Um, so yeah, I think the calendar, I think is worth it. I think it is an excellent price and I think it's really, really good. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll be trying it on my face to let you guys know if that makeup is any good or not. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video of me unboxing the ProVision Advent Calendar. If you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by 
every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to, link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a great day, stay safe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys, take care.